Podcast where we smoke them and roll them at the same motherfucking we time. We back, <laughs> just like that. We beat, back. Beat what the fuck the are you doing? I was asking. Beat out in the building. Beat out in the fucking Yo, building. Yo, be dizzled, the Batman. You know what I'm saying? We got Archangel now. Arch, now, now, look. You know, we usually start this shit off with sticks and seeds and shit, but yo, you know, Ark had to drop a bomb on us during the uh, during the behind the scenes. I'm not Rod. I don't have I know. a bomb. I'm sorry, <laughs> Rod. You need to get back on your damn job. Oh, we can shit. have bombs around. Here. We miss you, Rod, especially with with Ark here. He's in your seat, and I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> but go ahead, tell us, tell us, tell us uh, about this about this uh, uh, city girl stealing your. Uh... I ain't say that. You did. Said, you no, said they said th- they said they gonna take it. They said yeah, they, they told me, and I ain't had an issue with. It. I just didn't like the direction they was gonna go. I will say that. Okay, but so what did what did what 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 was it exactly? I, I, I that was, city girls I was borrowed a, from. Borrowed. I was at an event, and mm-hmm. I had um, spoken word piece. I uh, was performing during that season. It was called Period. So you know, I dropped a little knowledge, and at each piece, I said Period. So they was like, oh, I fuck with that. Da, 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 I'm going to use that. And I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? Be on your shit. So they was like, oh, I got intelligence. I, I'm going to use my words. Yeah, they use their words. All right. Uh, Do they even write their own rhymes? I don't think so. I think they came up with that one. If what, nothing else, the period. What, what, uh, I don't uh, think that's a song. That, that's all they say to shit. Period, period. You know what I'm saying? It's a trend. You got that women you that, that you created. You the reason why all these hoes say period right now. That's Unfortunately, why. Unfortunately, because saying. they're not using it in the level of intelligence. They're using a the level of sarcasm or the saying, "I'm shitting on you. I'm smarting you." So, no, when they say it, they mean, and that's the last word. That's what they mean when they say that. Period. But I feel like that it could have been used in a better light. Give us an example of. Uh, give us an excerpt. An excerpt of how you use. It. Yeah. Okay, simple as this. Give us a line from your actual poem. As to why they were stealing. No, nah, they ain't. Well, I ain't say steal, but in borrowing. I'll say, in my piece, I had... You got many that claim that they conscious and claim that they have freedom, but they still stuck on the level of free, depreciated value, and worthless, period. You got those that say they have freedom, but how you freedom when you practice the custom of the matrix trying to convince other people to vote? And you claim that you have freedom or self, 
Nah, you have free depreciated value of worthless. Because now we ain't practicing uh, levels of freedom. We practicing the level of program, Broham, because you're still stuck in the matrix, period. I poured an ungodly amount of Green Dragon into Ark's cup. Period. <laughs> I gotta give you a clap for that. It sounds factual, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say, man? It sounds like you didn't make it up on the spot. Right, 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 right. right. It sounds factual, actual. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you. It might have happened. But yeah, yeah, on the you level. Think it happened out? I don't know. I mean, he, hey, he, I'm the black force gone. I'm just okay. What year were you in Miami? Now we gotta ask questions. Okay. Now, now I travel too much. I don't remember the year. I ain't trying to yeah, and go with my age, but uh, I'm seasoned. Nebulosity. <laughs> I'm seasoned as an individual. But it's funny how this course yeah, size. See what that tastes with, like, my nigga. I'm sorry. Uh, another incident with some people. Because they was like, you was there? You you wasn't in Miami? I was like, uh, yeah, because I was, several reasons and stuff I oh, involved. Jesus. I am literally the black force gun. Oh, no, I did that right there. The chocolate with the cinnamon with right the on. green. Chocolate, cinnamon, green. I Come on, toast. Big. Toast. But yes. Toast, nigga. To prosperity. To Ark having way more green dragon in his cup than me. <laughs> but to wisdom. Call that, that generosity. Right. It's Christmas. Uh, Is it Christmas already? It's thanks killing. It's thanks killing. Man, you know this nigga Art came in fly with the fucking peacoat, got know, the fucking hat with the shoes to match. Come on, look at. <laughs> come on, yeah, let's drop. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we ain't dropping balls, but you know what I'm saying? Come on. He got a. He had a. He had. He had, he had a bitch on goddamn the phone. And oh, 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 I'm oh, talking oh, about oh. mac and cheese, baby. Yeah, mac I'm, and cheese. Oh, he like, yeah, man. Happy Look, birthday, uh, no. late birthday to tomorrow. Uh, happy uh, early birthday to Cirrus, One Love. Oh, shit. And whatnot. And uh, peace be to my daughter. Uh, uh, her birthday is the 21st. And one love to her. And, and may the most high keep us safe. One love. Uh, my pops' his birthday is coming up at the end of the month. And whatnot. So peace be to that. Georgia B. Happy early birthday to her. Her birthday coming up. Happy my, birthday, Georgia B. We gon' we gonna go right up. Right on. And happy birthday to my god brother Bobby Kinnebrew. His birthday coming up. Okay, and he man. Had look, just look, all right. That's no, enough with the my, fucking that's birthdays. That's my last man. one. His uh, he had just uh, he's surviving bone cancer. That's why my okay. god brother. So he um, okay, that's the reason to celebrate. That's the reason. Right. Celebrate. So. He almost left us this year, so peace be the ancestors gave him a little more life. Uh, continue. All right, sticks and seeds, my nigga. Sticks and seeds. I'll let you go first, since you had a good one in the car. Let's start with the one you told me. Mm. And the other ones, we can, we can gauge those as we go. I won't put this down. Man, offend people, man. This, uh, sticks and seeds is just another version of let's get offended. Come on. <laughs> My sticks and seeds is how you'll say certain things that certain women would do are narcissistic, so to speak. Women are narcissistic. I agree with my friend here. And Majority. I, I feel. I'll I'll say, say I, I ain't going to say that. Well, I'll say I'll tread the line and say certain ones. I'm, I'm saying the culture today preaches Narcissism. Narcissism for women, and I don't I, even know what it means. And I can't yeah. stand that <laughs> somebody who has feelings of grandeur to think that they're more important than somebody else is unsensitive or, to other people's feelings. Or that's they a, do that's shit. A narcissist. And a narcissist is something. Break it down to y'all like fractions. <laughs> and a narcissist is somebody that would do something to you and accuse you of being the person that they the one who did or did something to them. That's a gaslighter. But you know. No, no, like narcissists actually believe. Like, that, that's what makes it narcissism. It's not like I, I'm gonna go out and be an asshole today. You are that person. You feel me? You're the type, just like the type of bitch that gets taken to Cheesecake Factory and think that you're supposed to go to fucking Ruth Chris yeah. when your dress costs ten dollars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm just saying. Or a narcissist is a female that um disguise their level of attacking men and say you're a woman beater, but she's the one that attacks the men. That's a gaslighter also again, but... You know, no, that is a narcissist. I, but I'm saying a narcissist believes 
And they believe that. They think they in the right because they'll no. say, you said something to offend me. So they think they cool for attacking a brother. No, but it's more to narcissism. It's, it's, it's okay, you we thinking giving... that you're better than everybody. You you have feelings of grandeur that of yourself. That ain't a woman thing. Is that... and, you are, and you are really, um, you're not aware, basically, of other people's feelings. You're not aware of how you affect is other people. Is it always aware or some of them don't care? Speak no. that emotional shit with. <laughs> <laughs> Be that. <laughs> is it that they ain't aware or some of them just? I mean, both. Because some people are not aware, and then the people that are aware take advice from the people who aren't. Because they have, you know, you know I can narcissism can get confused with um, confidence. Because a narcissist has a lot of confidence in themselves. And it, it's a mixture of arrogance. Yeah, an arrogance, you know what I'm saying? A narcissist is ar- an arrogant person. And it, it's good arrogance and bad arrogance. But I don't know. Yeah, because I'm slight arrogant in ways. But it's a level of a trip when somebody do something and accuse you of doing what they do. See, he told me in the car that he was like, yo, nigga, when Valentine's Day come, nigga, do we get fucking gifts? I was like, I feel that, nigga, but it's almost Christmas. So just say Christmas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, just dealing with that. I was, see, I, was, I wanted him to do that. And tag me. <laughs> so on Valentine's Day, is it right that you would go out and do Christmas, wonderful nigga, let's things? Just say no, Christmas. No, because val- that's specific. That this I know, happens. but Christmas you're supposed to exchange gifts, and some women don't feel like they should get a nigga something for Christmas. Yes, but I don't celebrate Christmas, so I, you're not getting nothing from Christmas. Specifically, you know I mean? Valentine's Day is supposed to be a love day, okay, and if Valentine's you got day. something from your significant other that you say you love because you celebrate that, I usually don't celebrate pagan holidays, but okay. But if you, but okay. To, Man, shout out to King Solomon, who 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 knew God. God gave him wisdom, and then the finest bitch in the country came in and was like, "But what about my God?" And he was like, "Man, bring that nigga on." In. I mean, right that's on. just that's just how that's just the way the women work. You feel me? Like Solomon let you know sometimes you got to give in to get game. You know what I'm saying? He was the king, the richest one on the earth at the time, according well, to the Bible. He, he weed on hey, he was Salomon. Go Salomon. Salomon Gray. No, Salomon. <laughs> Salad, salad, salad. No, 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 salad, salad. <laughs> we grow on salad man grave. See, they butcher but up the woods. But go ahead, but go ahead, but go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. But if you, you finish sit, with your sticks and seeds. No, no, no. Uh, I know you uh, want to go deep on this, don't you? On the level of what you hit the Valentine. I just say women are narcissistic. On a spickly, it's, it's a strictly Valentine. If you do all these wonderful things for your lady friend. And then you thinking she going to do one thing nice. You don't know what it is, but you thinking she going to do one thing nice. But then she you come out. Like a, you sounding like a chick right now. She come out with a bow on her butt neck. You look like. You rewrap the same fucking gift I had last night. Right. Like, like what the fuck? What you kind of shit? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is not a gift. <laughs> Sexual it, sexual gratification is not a gift in any form. I don't care if it's out. something new we about to do. It, right. it, it can't get too new besides <laughs> it going inside without, of something. Without questions. That show <laughs> that showed how <laughs> lack <laughs> of <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Yo. That's how Especially if you're good at it the right. first time. Like, whoa. Yeah. You been doing this? How long have you been at this? So that's that show how little we are thought of as brothers and then jumping to Christmas time. I like. I rarely quote Fifty Cent, but Fifty yeah, Cent. Day. Even Man, that. Oh yeah, Father's and they Mother's are. Day are two different. Even you know. bringing that. But that's different. That's the core. That's your children. Okay. If your children don't love you, I but mean, even bringing that, Fifty Cent said it best, and I rarely quote Fifty. He said, "Why every time you look, brothers, they want to give us." Um, they want to give us. Um, come on, man! Spit it out and stop playing with your. They want to give us a hammer. They want to give us a bow tie. He was like, I like diamonds. I like a nice bracelet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a I new like trend a around. Thing. It's a new trend going around that if uh, that if men start asking for stuff that women don't want to get, they call you sassy. They'd be like, oh, you want some expensive shit? Nigga, you sassy, ain't you? Like, you'd be like, what, bitch? Oh, that's what they call you when they want to you know. Yeah, when they when they when you start asking for shit that they don't want to do or they don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this nigga being sassy, like you feel wow. me? Like, 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 sh- like she can ask for it, but you can't ask for it. You feel me? And like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what we have to have to be. 
Nah, I ain't gonna say I'm sassy. I'm gonna be like, look, man, fuck what you saying. I don't give a fuck what you try to label it as. Right, this is what's gonna happen. Because that's what a man does. This is gonna happen like this, and you feel me? Call it sassy if you want to, but you about to do it. <laughs> on me, or we ain't talking no more. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, it, that's my issue. We have been programmed with America that we support. As men give so much. Oh shit, Slick done chimed in. But give hey, very hey, little. Hey, Lab, I can't see her comment. She said, what the fuck? Uh oh, I'm let you. Slick done chimed in. Hold up. Slick said, what the fuck? <laughs> With the red fucking um, exclamation <laughs> and the question mark, right, nigga. That's how you know she mad. It's not, it's not women. women. It's them thought ass whores, y'all do. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. It's not women. You're right. I apologize. Yeah, because real women be the one to be like, you know what, nigga? I'm about to buy you dinner tonight. You be like, oh, I, don't, I feel uncomfortable right now. I got a problem. I don't know. I feel wrong. Should I kiss you? <laughs> I fucks with that, but I got a problem with that real word because I hate when women use when they be like, a real man do this, a real man I do that. I hate that shit. I hate that no, shit. Hate yeah, because passion. you can't be like a real woman without. We don't normally say that. I don't, yeah, that's not something. That ain't man something said. brothers say, but a we female, only say it in retaliation to certain, a real man. Certain like. females, that shit rolls off their tongue. And my motto has always been: you ain't got nan dick or balls to tell me what. This one time I told a chick, I said, "Your daddy was never there. How are you gonna tell?" But for, for real though, Damn. how are you gonna tell me what a real man would do? I'm just being for real. I went to the gusto on it, didn't you? I'm just saying, man. I, don't, I hate. Jab, I really do. I really do hate that statement. A real man. You be like, nigga. So show me the book of all the things that a real man would do that you read, and who wrote it. <laughs> and if we go by what real woman technicality that. Is a real man goes out and hunts uh, a fucking water buffalo and brings it back, and a real woman sucks that man penis every night. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, uh, be that? You know, he got to throw salt. That is what he do. All right, we were done talking about the flaws in women. Yes, yes. <laughs> we both have flaws, but that's just something that is obvious oh. that needs to change. Oh, man, I wanted to shout out all all the guys at uh, Stockbridge Walmart when I was walking with my wife, and she said some outrageous comment like, you're supposed to want to buy anything for your wife. Ain't that right? That nigga looked up like... Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> she did it to like two, three niggas. Uh, and they both looked up like, oh, you talking to me? Nope. Nope, 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 uh, nope. I said, man, I was like, man, come on, give me some. We gonna, we gonna build a club or something. Like Smoke that. cigars and shit. Shout out to them. Shout out to all the black mm. dudes in Stockbridge Walmart that, that uh, backed me up without me saying that. She said, you're supposed to just want to buy anything. I was like, I said, so say that to somebody in here. Right, right. What the hell? No, we don't do that shit because we want to. We do it because we have to. <laughs> if we could fuck you and never buy you nothing, guess what? You would never get anything. <laughs> it's I, just true. No, I ain't going to say that. It's just true. I do shit. I'm a poet. We got keep that pussy warm. Yeah, you feel me? I ain't, we I ain't do what we supposed that, to do. I bring you some food and some flowers right. and shit. But we, you know what I'm saying? I'm an artist and a poet, so I do smooth, suave shit just because I, you Give know. Me an example. Like, instead of just going and buy some flowers, one day, one sister I was dating, I had went through, like, like a money neighborhood. Uh, allegedly. You went through a what neighborhood? What kind of neighborhood? A, a nice uh, area. He said a money neighborhood. We're in the, we're in the uh, 12 that, years of slave. That's because. These <laughs> folks got this money box. <laughs> and I was, on, I was on some back in the day shit and because I knew they had certain arrangements. And, um, back, back in the day when? What year? Uh, the year of our Lord of 1400 and your lab you know that I got a I got a story of a fucking vampire they found I asked him he was like where they find it at I said you wouldn't you love to know <laughs> so he could be like yeah I was there in 1485 right before Columbus came over here <laughs> but yeah we, real talk I, I had um I gathered different flowers hold on hold on stop 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 <laughs> cause see Slick came back <laughs> And Slick Cut said, if we could get good shit and never have to fuck or suck y'all. <laughs> but it's, it's like punishing yourself. I can see the suck part. but right, suck stop part, playing. Now, why would you punish yourself like that? You want to live in a world where you can't fuck any... 
Now, women need to stop lying because most, I don't give a damn what anybody say, this is 100%. I done made a girl cry happy tears before. Absolutely. (laughs) On a slow stroke. I'm talking about slow stroke, and I ain't pounding. I'm slow stroking, baby. You know what I'm saying? You ever had a chick try to give you a high five because you doing that shit right? You know what I'm saying? I done had chicks be like, nigga, I knew you were the nigga when you walked (laughs) in the store. For real. I promise to God on on my my grandmama, man. I done had a chick like... I knew it. I just, I knew it when I first met you. I just knew that you had some good dick, nigga. I was just like, God damn, you feel Man, me? I had a chick. After we got done, she was smiling and put her head in. I said, you ain't all you. Like, it was good. I'm a hoe. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my voice is going in and out. But, um. Stop yelling. No, I'm probably <laughs> not speaking into the mic or something. But um, the mic up a little bit. Like, oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You did your sticks and seeds. You're telling a story now, nigga. This is a fucking church. I wasn't about to tell. All right, you acting like I want to sing a song and I want. I wasn't about. Both, I okay? wasn't about to tell. A story. Only the mother of the church can do both. <laughs> Straight up, <laughs> I wasn't about to tell a story, but on the level of um. No, I wanted to backtrack on what you was about to say because that was part of my sticks and seeds too. Not women's narcissism, okay. but fictional movies about women's plight. A completely made up story about a woman going through shit. Such as? I mean, you know, when they make it up, she has to go through everything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I agree, because, but is it a movie in particular you're thinking of that, that paints this um, picture? Well, I've only watched the first few episodes of that new show from Oprah called Black Cake, which is a fictional movie about a black Caribbean plight. And the first part, I don't give a fuck if y'all seen it or not. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spoiler, Spoiler alert, nigga. First, I mean, basically her daddy is Chinese. She half Chinese and nigga, you know, nigga like, you're Chinese, man. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you're coolie and shit. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? They, they treat him with, this nigga got a gambling problem and shit. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, he end up basically... Marrying his daughter off to the nigga that he owe all this fucking money to. You know what I'm saying? She run away. She run away and shit. He end up killing herself. But the whole thing is that, like, this is completely made up. Is, does, is this what black women need? Drama. I'm just saying, it's completely made Drama. up. Drama. I don't yeah. dated certain females that I, I have dated a lot. She was of sixteen when she was about to marry the dude, so that That's was different. weird. You know no, what I'm saying? Weird. And then when you it's, see the nigga, you like, look at weird this weirdo. Weird. He look weird. <laughs> <laughs> he what, look what, like he got a perm and shit. What but time it's, it's was Jamaica, it? so it's hot all the time. So what year was you know? it in the movie? What does it matter? You say that one time you can marry sixteen year old and nobody say nothing. Damn shit, sure. under you. I'm not going to touch that one. <laughs> Let's talk about this vampire they found over there in Europe. Yeah, what it says, what it says. Found a vampire in Europe. That was one of my sticks and seeds. Hold on, hold on. You mean a vampire bones? Mm. Everything dies. Of it. Vampires never die. No, that's They like they crypts. Work. They multiply. <laughs> <laughs> Do vampires die? Yes. Uh, how they die? What they? You better not fucking say old age. They definitely don't die from old age. Some ancient ones of what species they are when they are so they old. They are vampire species. Yes. Let's say with that one. There's yeah. eighty some different vampire species. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Uh, you just said there's 80 of them, so now you don't know shit about vampires no, as soon as he asks you a question? But uh, uh, there's 80 some different vampire species. Some vampires walk in the light because that is what humanity has named them a part of the vampire lineage, so to speak. Then some vampires are uh, aboriginals from whatever planet they come from, so they ain't got no issue with that because they're not parasite. Feel me? They just like a balance of the equation for what we what I call humanoids, so to speak, beings that arm leg, arm Man, leg, you are head. Terrible. 
I'm just saying, you're saying a whole bunch of nothing. You're saying a whole bunch of nothing that does not distinguish one from the other. There are... All vampires are parasites. No, it's not. Yeah. You have to Some vampires... What is a leech? A leech? A blood-sucking what? Organism. Parasite. Parasite, nigga. Come on. That's different. Some vampires are like a lion that eats other humans. Like, and some are like vegans who eat some vegetables. Some are basically... Do, do you eat vegetables? Some vampires can eat whatever they're able to uh, within reason. But the parasite why? ones... Now, see, there comes the other question. There comes the questions that defeat you. Why? Why can they? Because they're not a parasite. So it's just like that's a part of their meal. But you're so a the vampire. ones that walk in light are not parasites. Right. The ones, walkers. the ones who walk they in... Walkers. Yeah. So what the, the fuck are you doing, nigga? Why is TikTok on? Because I just <laughs> finished the video, nigga. I was I video. I don't give a... What the fuck? I was videoing us on in public. Because they had a tent. <laughs> no, you can get... Okay. I know. I was just doing so, little clips. So, there are species, just like there's multiple species of werewolves. See what people don't understand. Some of the name three species. You got the uh, Wendigo is one. You got the regular werewolf that look like the one on Twilight. Then you got the, the uh, regular one. Yeah, that's because that's actually the What's norm. The third, one? the third will be like like a uh, chupacabra looking up. So you just naming what they call fucking Bigfoot at different places. No, 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 no. Yeah, a it's, Wendigo. It's a fucking no, a what, chupacabra. The Wendigo uh, werewolf is be so like. So a werewolf is basically Bigfoot. No, Bigfoot is like. More, a werewolf. No, that's more sapien. That's more sapien. More, not exactly a monkey. Or is it more homo? <laughs> homo sapien is the man that walks up right. <laughs> Homo sapien means man that walks upright. Yes, you got. But well, he's not the first person to walk upright. You got a Homo habilis, Homo erectus, and so on and so on. It sounds like Homo erectus would be man that walks upright. True. Well, I also don't read. <laughs> okay, so. So. Can one? Can one? Man, let me read this shit on this vampire. vampire can one vampire attack the other, even though it's not the same? Thing? Like, can a daywalker attack a parasite vampire? Kill him. One is not supposed to attack any other um, feature within reason unless they are adversary to so your they client. They go by police rule. <laughs> if they're not an adversary. We, we both believe we're not supposed to attack each other but unless you're one of them crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> To put your eyes but if you're a parasite, nobody gives a fuck about the lower level parasites. The lower All parasites. All right, look, man. 17th like century zombies. vampire child with a padlocked ankle. Mm. Let me say that lower. So. 17th century vampire child with a padlocked ankle. Mm-hmm. On Earth. What do you think? Where would vampire children? That again. Vatican. In a Vatican? Hole in that. Not far. Vatican is in Italy. And Poland is Dutch town. Dutch town. What country is it? Poland, what is that? Low Pass, Russia? Right next to me. <laughs> no, but oh, I didn't pay it. <laughs> oh, shit. No. Yes. The first vampire. Uh, Vlad and Pele is uh, near uh, where, Turkey. Where is it? Where is it? Where, where is it? Van Helsing? Supposed to be Vlad and Pele. That's yeah, supposed to be Dracula. Be, Actually not. Yep. Actually not Transylvania. But Africa said you definitely don't read. Actually. You definitely don't read. Albania, if I'm not mistaken. I say, see what we talked about last week. No, I said if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> I, I say, just me. He said, uh, uh-uh. uh. I'll bet. Now I'm gonna say, no, nah, he goes, nah, real. No, nah, look it up. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> I, I, I think he was from Albania. Uh, that is right next door, near there. Romania. 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 One of them. You're wrong. 
We both Slovenia. wrong, but so it's there was one no of need for you to even rebuttal. Away, so. I knew it wasn't Transylvania. Was I just knew it was it's, one it of other. It is Transylvania because Transylvania is in Romania. Romania. Okay. <laughs> Ain't, uh, bang bang, which is close to Albania, Poland, Poland. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all that near Turkey, all that. No, Dracula's not. He just the uh, first of his kind. Oh shit! It's fucking Poland is fucking like next to you. The Ukraine and a whole bunch of countries you don't know, except for Germany. So it's between Germany and the Ukraine, technically. South of Lithuania, Islamic. Slovakia. Islamic. Islamic yeah, a lot of the Islamic. Mm. Yeah, Romania is just a hop skip from mm. Poland. Yeah, he ain't the, he's the first of his. All right, man. Let me talk about this child. You might know. I don't know that motherfucker. It probably ain't even a child. He probably was a child for a thousand years. Seventeen vampire child change. All this black power he talked, but he fucked with white vampires. <laughs> anyway, archaeologists think they've unearthed the remains of a seventeenth-century vampire child. A graveyard in Poland. That the skeleton is four hundred years old, and scientists predict. How do you predict? Does that mean you ain't did no fucking test yet? They predict that he's five to seven years old when she died. This is the funniest part. This is the craziest part. Like, because all of this sounds stupid until they say, "Oh, she died at a padlock on her toe to keep her strapped to the ground. She was also buried face down." With a sickle placed across her neck, intended to decapitate her if she rose from the dead. And that's where it gets serious. Like, what kind of devil child was this? She might not have did shit wrong. She might have threw up in church, and they was like, "Oh yeah, we found him." <laughs> nah, nah. See, again, it, it goes back to what I said before. We are different species of humanity. That's like how you. So how do you know that this child was a fucking? I don't. They buried a nigga with a sickle across their neck. That's why I'm getting to species. Just in case you try to raise up and just cut your neck out. That's why I'm getting to species. I don't know what species both of y'all two niggas. I know what I am. But going to um, werewolves. A crazy motherfucker for 200, Alex, is what you (laughs) If werewolves are wolf people, but automatically they got cat people. Some of the vampires are cat people. Chiquette. Chiquette was one of the first vampires, actually. Way oh, yeah. That's Egypt. Chiquette's supposed to have been so busy uh, paying everybody up in whatever place she was that they tricked her the illusion that she started drinking this river and um, couldn't drink up all of it. I feel she, like all of this pressure from asking you about vampire shit forced you to go. Pico. <laughs> All these niggas on the vampire life. Is that what you think? Again, we speech. We have some people are mountain dwellers, some people are valley dwellers, or coastal. That has nothing to do that. with genetic yes, modifications. Yes, it does. Because depending on what species of people you are, you eat in your. So. It's called necessity. No, no, no. Beyond necessity. <laughs> Talking about eating food in your region, nigga. It's called necessity. Like, what if you, what if big you don't bone have a people. fucking boat? Some big What's bone people are elephant people. So no matter how much they work out, they always going to be big, just big in shape. You have some people are bird There's people. There's no fucking such thing as big bones. Yes, it is. Big bone if people. If you got big are, bones, then that means you're bigger than everybody, point blank, period. No, Taller that means your bones is heavier, naturally thicker and all. So like a big bone person my size. This is what happens when you grow up in the backwoods of Edison, Georgia. <laughs> hey, hold your on. Grandma, and your grandmama is, is also you your smoke. doctor. This is what happens when you smoke that poison weed off a of salad man's <laughs> Hey, hold on now. Get off that. Get off that Edison, Moldy Georgia. weed from salad, <laughs> man, Grand. Terry Cruz by Edison, Georgia. Take Koo from Edison, Georgia. Mute his mic for Cruz five minutes, please. <laughs> He just told me Terry Crews is from Edison, Georgia, as if that was going to give He said it. that before, like we can't. Yeah, like, I know. <laughs> hey, hold on. Wrong now. nigga, man. He, he, he said I, the wrong nigga's name. I fucks with Terry. 
you know what I'm saying? It's like you go to the hood, you be like, but don't y'all know Terry? Oh, we'll beat your ass just for mentioning this nigga. Big ass nigga. <laughs> we gonna beat your ass just cause you know him, nigga. <laughs> we gotta be careful who name you say, nigga. We all we like, yo. Yeah. Nah, he alright. He got said the salad man return. <laughs> oh yo, this is my shit. I had I was talking to Rob about this. This is what's crazy, y'all. I don't trust people to smoke. What the? <laughs> anything. Drink. Anything. Curse. People that don't do nothing and just walk around like fucking Mr. Rogers. Uh-huh. I don't Sweet. trust them. You know why? Right. Because everybody has a vice. Right. These I are mean. the niggas that got somebody locked in their in a dungeon. <laughs> I was arguing this with Ra. He like, man, yeah, that's kind of true. He was like, but... You know, Jeffrey Dahmer smoked and drank his shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, except for that nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? I, I think, don't think that would have uh, been matter. Huh? Smoke, drink, detox too? Manson. Yeah, yeah but man. just imagine if he didn't. He probably would have never got caught. Marilyn Not Marilyn Manson. Oh, forgive me. Forgive me. What's the dude? Manson. Charles. Charles, Charles. man. <laughs> I know something, man. But so I, don't I, trust think, it. I think I, I, I get what you're saying, but I think problem is there are a lot of people who have people locked in the basement that do those things. <laughs> so you gotta readjust. And I think those were just the lost motherfuckers that, you know what I'm saying? I feel like real monsters that never get caught church and shit and Flanders. you like, man, he's a yeah. great guy. He doesn't do right. anything. And right. Usually, but you do, you are right. Even the Mexicans that stole all them white girls. Usually, if he was on shit, he was drinking and shit. Usually, you know what I mean? usually the, the 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 hidden evil motherfuckers be that one cat that nobody expects because they walk perfect. They don't do shit. That's exactly what he just said. I'm agreeing. <laughs> I'm agreeing one hundred percent. I'm agreeing. And that's why they never get caught. The motherfuckers that do drugs get caught because they do drugs, baby. <laughs> and if you do drugs and you do crimes, you're gonna slip up because you do drugs. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, all right. But yeah. I think I okay, so let's let me put like with Manson and Palmer and right. a lot of those people but to think about the one person who's dressed as a clown. Do kids parties and stuff. Who was it? He was a killer. Is that fucking um? Uh... Hey, what is this nigga name? I know who you talking about. He had a weird. Uh, Wayne Gacy. Yeah. Yeah, John yeah. Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. He used to dress as a clown. He was, mm -hmm. Everybody in the neighborhood thought he was a great guy. Yeah. So on that side, you're right. Yeah. So I guess what happens uh, is John Wayne Gacy. Yeah, that's right. Slim. What about the cop that was killing people? For thirty years, and he was sending shit to the police. There's a lot of serial that. killers that had to basically give the cops clues because they wanted to get caught, but the cops weren't smart enough. Is it that they wanted to get caught, or they was taunting police because they felt they was? I'm looking at you like, why do you keep rephrasing that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like confused, like what the hell is going on? <laughs> nah, because I always said myself, um, serial killers it ain't that they want to get caught. Some of them do. To agree with the opinion. I know you're a vampire. Me. Tell us how you do. You want to get caught? Vampire? Oh, why don't that's... every vampire is a serial killer? Why? That's not a serial killer. That's just being natural. Why do we have to keep going by a superstition? No, rule? actually, it's not because earlier you said if you eat vegetables in the valley, is because yeah. you the species and yeah, it's whatever not natural. You are. It's just that is natural. I ain't say it's not natural. That is natural. You or whatever species you are. Some people are hybrids and some people are singular species. You know a singular species because everybody in that town look the same. <laughs> Other That's than called inbred. That ain't inbred. <laughs> inbred. Man, we got to stop talking to him about vampires because <laughs> inbred. He wanted. He wants to be acting sassy and vassy. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Now. <laughs> Art, you're acting sassy, Art. Who the hell is Art? A-R-K. I don't know no Art. Oh, oh shit. Yo, typing all oh, typo like a motherfucker. Anyways, I stand on my shit. I believe that people who don't smoke weed or drink or have any visible vices. That's what I wrote. Okay. Visible vices. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Especially them niggas like, oh, I don't smoke. I don't drink. You feel me? 
Like, nigga, congratulations, nigga. Right. Like, you feel me? But you probably got a kid locked up in your fucking house somewhere, nigga. <laughs> and when I find out, I'm a, you feel me? You know what I'm Put the right? foot the boot to you. I think head. those are the fucking monsters. You feel me? So why you look at the next, you, next time you look at a cigarette smoke, I don't like cigarettes. What, look at them with joy? Why well, you had to say cigarettes? Like, I don't, like, I Think really of that as a like, regular really, well, Let's put it this way. I don't really, I don't smoke. I really he just like the look of it. You like pussy, right? I love it. Oh, see? I'll right. <laughs> figure it. it out for you, Lab. You know? I, I love it. Like, I'll be like... Look at Lab. Lab got, <laughs> Lab got a smile like, like no other when like, I say like pussy. eating food or eating pussy. Like, it's a... It's a, like, it's a damn. It's like, a, do, I want, do, do I want nourishment or do I want nourishment? Right, right. Like, right. What did I say, Lab? Somebody saying something other. I right, got studs on the house. <laughs> <laughs> They vampire studs, nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Actually, I only ever sired one. What? Ever sired one. Only ever what? What? Sired. And he only made, he only ever made one. What's her name? No oh, matter. No, if I want to pass this. <laughs> This cup is almost gone. Ain't it? He no, don't ain't. need nothing else. What you mean? I'm chill, calm, and collected. I kind of chill, calm, and collected. I actually touched on. What was that? Vampire talk. Not just see. Y'all keep saying vampire like that's the only supernatural out there. There's many humanoids. My well, mama says she's well, we, a witch. Though. Hey, a witch is just another species of a clan. It's just something that's, you know, it's, that's just we, some, look, when, look, when people say that to me, especially like if you're a religious person, mm-hmm. I just take it, I'll be like, oh, somebody But you know, I'm going to give our credit, the spirit world, you I've, feel like I've, it? I've been there, I've dreamed, I've been in the spirit world, and I've been demon right around, right up in front something, of me, right whatever around it my was. back, bit the shit out of me, and when I woke up, I literally felt it okay mm. that is no joke for real yes no marks no marks but you could have had marks but it, it, you had residual marks from okay okay so i believe that <laughs> you believe in the spirit right yeah. now, now this I, something have you ever done salvia i've never done it. this but is I some true story this on uh, this way no. <laughs> B-Dot said that was a bed bug. <laughs> it would have been in more than one place, B-Dot. It would have been in more than one place. It was just Yo, on my back. Nigga, I would agree with you. It, stupid. I would agree with you <laughs> if it wasn't in just in one spot. <laughs> that was a bed bug. But, uh, but true, bed. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> true story. Re- religion versus reality of the real shit. Um, Hold up, that is too vague. Yeah, I'm going to get into it. This is one because time I'm not going to Even reality say. isn't real. No, well, no. Everybody's reality is different. Hold on. Exactly. When I say, Which makes it not real. When I say reality, you'll get it when I tell the story. Oh, I'm not going to. No, we don't want no story. This is one story. No, I want to talk about mushrooms and oh, how no, everybody got to. This is one of you highest stories that is not sugarcoated. Uh, my 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 god brother uh house him and his wife was at when they in their early years of their marriage Man, you gotta make this story like 30 seconds anyway I ain't gonna be 30 seconds listen so it was a hospice this house a long time ago then um, before the hospice it was an asylum then her great um great uncle bought it so when when all the it, it was Why like no it was a, it was just a house when he bought it so he didn't know all this Probably. How but big is this fucking house? It was huge. Like, it was huge. It was like uh a four school, it right? was like four houses in one but damn it. Somebody told him it was It was a house at right, at the top. It was a house on flat level. It it just walked through house. Then it was a house in the mid level. Then it's like two houses at the bottom. And the house is at the bottom. One was a two bedroom. It sounds like a lie. No, lie sis, nigga, listen. Oh, I, now I know it's a lie. I know yeah. that's all I needed you to say for me to confirm it. Now I know it's anyway, a complete dude. and utter anyway, lie. On, the man. other side had um uh, like eight rooms or whatever at the bottom. So anyway, beat I said the padded room gave it away. No, they ain't have none of that then. What? But 
It was just a regular what house. What year was it? 14, This 55? was like 23 years ago. I thought you was going to say the... Uh, 2000. 2001. And 2000. they didn't have padded fucking room. No, no. We got was, cell phones. The house was just looked like a regular house. Multi-level. We had touch screen phones. With all these houses together. Now, this... um. You had she had to have three preachers she called up that came because they was having a home. Man, look, man, we don't got time for no long ass fucking arc. You story. keep interrupting me because while I get it's boring, to... nigga. <laughs> I'm if getting to the fact. channel. I would change it, nigga. Anyway, if it was a t- if it was a movie, I'd be like, oh well, let's see. If I keep interrupting, <laughs> uh, I can't yeah, get to like, the point. Yeah, we try to spit poetry. Yeah, skip uh, all, skip all, skip all the shit. Get to the point. The house was the house was haunted. And they had three pre- preachers come. Two was a pastor, one was a bishop. And they had some amity. So they were preachers. It was two pastors and a bishop. And a bishop. <laughs> okay. So the house uh, was doing some Amityville horror shit. You you walk out the kitchen, come back in like a five minutes later, the chair's on top of the table. You walk out the kitchen, come back in, all the cabinets open, the drawers open. Everybody did. Multiple did people. you? Yes, I did too. Okay. So... It was other shit going on too. The fact this was when the second Friday came out. What were out. you doing up there? I was living with them because it was a multi-level house. I um paid my folks money because they had the other side. They had multiple. So, what state was it? Georgia, Candler Park, Candler Park, Georgia. What I address? Say, I don't remember. Didn't I say goddamn twenty some years ago? Because I want to this fuck. whole story though. Yeah. Because it was, it was a trip to it, me, it's, and, and, and it's relatively close to where you you're at right now. You're off. Hmm. But the thing I'm saying is though, he don't remember the address, but he remembers the story vividly. Absolutely, because it was a unique situation when three. If it was pay, unique, why not remember the address? You Who remembers like, multiple? Look, addresses? that's some shit that I, if somebody came down, I'd be driving, and I just drive past that house just to tell them like, "Yo, nigga, this fucking ghost in that." Because I know. <laughs> They be like, are we to the restaurant yet? I was like, man, we 15 minutes out the way, but no, I just had to drive y'all over here but to let house, y'all know that it's ghost in this bitch. That house is not at that location. They destroyed it and built the whole new house. The details of Ark's story be more entertaining than the actual story. <laughs> and, <laughs> and in parentheses, it says lie, which means, no, whatever. <laughs> which means he said all of that to tell you that was Bullshit. Lie. Anyway, <laughs> real talk. So they had three, uh, two pastors and a bishop came. So the two pastors and the bishop um, got ran off, and the bishop left his Bible. He got so whatever the pope the guys did. And this was more the hilarious part of the experience because here you got these two pastors that were sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and the the spirits ran their ass off, and the bishop left his Bible. That was the most hilarious. That's the shit. best way to test some shit. I seen that shit too loud. I said, oh. You heard me laugh? Huh? Who had the door? It better not be beat at. No. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you heard me laugh? What? The two um, pastors and the, and the bishop got ran off by the spirits that were haunting the house. And the bishop left his Bible. That was a part of the experience where I was trying to race, get to the whole time because if you so... Um, Holy field and sanctified. Bishop, how did you leave your Bible? Scared. Shit, I leave my child. <laughs> I'm fucking scared. God, damn, fuck? I don't know about that. You, like, you better run. I might, I might, I might run and then be like, oh shit. I, ain't, I, ain't, I can't leave my babies, nigga. We don't have to die. I leave my child. God damn, man. I can't leave my baby. I ain't leave my child. I, I, I wouldn't child. be able to live with myself if I ran yeah. off and just left my kid. Yeah, I, I can leave, leave my child, but live. the wife could get left. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You have man laugh know what to say, man. Yo, high five, air high five. Uh, <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> oh me though. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? Me I say he can't get them seven minutes of his life back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's I was trying to be brief here and I did because I admitted certain parts of the story. Okay. But the point is, past two pastors and a bishop. Uh, had haunting situations that they, they went in. Two passes the bishop went into the into the haunting. One yeah. pastor said, "Hey, it's scary here." The other pastor said, hey, "You damn right, it's scary." <laughs> bishop say, "I'm out," and then we can leave out. that body. <laughs> <laughs> We just gonna leave the Bible here and let that shit do work. Let the Bible deal with. See how I did that. <laughs> <laughs> 
That'd be some hell. That'd be some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You done paid the bitch to come out. He's like, you know, your problem is ain't no Jesus in here, so I'm going to leave this right here. <laughs> right. And the other pastor said, nigga, leave that motherfucker. <laughs> there you have it. This nigga fucking story. I got, I, got, I got a couple more sticks and seeds. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I want to have a part called What to Watch While High. Cause I got some shit that will fucking blow your fucking mind. But I watch weird shit anyway all the time. Mm. But, uh, man, before I say that, man, you know, it's getting cold now in mm. Georgia. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's only right to shout out uh, Alice Parker, the inventor of the furnace. Because they explained that if you ever been in a house... And was he? Or an apartment, what was he nevertheless. And you didn't want to turn on the heat, and you thought that, you know what, I'm going to buy a couple of logs because so, I got a fireplace, and I'm going to put them logs in the fireplace and let that shit do the work. Let me tell you, nigga, that is not the fucking move. Because a fireplace is only hot in front of the fireplace. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cool, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Anywhere else is cold. Nah, but it was always fly. I used to stay in, on the I, east side I of disagree. Stone Mountain, and I had, I had a fireplace. And I remember first laying that fucking blanket Your house out. wasn't insulated. Man, hold up, man. Why is you talking? I remember laying that blanket out. Give me some logs. Fighting the bitch over some little Hennessy, a couple of blunts. You know, you fucking <laughs> in front of the fireplace. That's sexy right yeah, there. Right. You know, I turn right off all the lights. Before. Just let the fire do the work. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? By the time we get down to them embers, y'all knocking you. Know? Oh, you mean you don't. But Alice Parker. Hold on. Let me make sure I said that shit right again. Yeah, Alice Parker invented the furnace. Black or white? A black lady. Thank you. Hey. Yeah. And you know what my first thought was? When that nigga went out for all that work, she was in the house like, it is cold as a motherfucker. <laughs> I want to I wanna wash these dishes, but the fireplace is all the way over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and, and don't tell me that, that being a housewife and shit don't fucking work. Because what right. else was the fuck she was doing? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Came up with the idea. Yeah, where where else did you have time to build a fucking furnace? She's like, man, let me hurry up and wash these fucking dishes so I can get back on this furnace. <laughs> Say, I'm gonna fold all these clothes and everything in about ten minutes so I can get back to this furnace. I'm gonna do it in warmth next year. Right on. Shout out to Alice Parker and Black Women. Forgive me, I. I This old fashioned movie that was in black and white. The country white dude had a deep moment. And it was the city slicker from Chicago. No, no offense. No offense. The, this, <laughs> it's not like you said the city nigga. You said the city slicker. So yeah. The, <laughs> the city slicker white dude coming out to the country and he was selling to people. It was the early days of ours. ours he just machine. loved to tell a story. Yes, I'm a storyteller. So he got is that another word machine. for a liar? No, this is, I'm a liar. Uh, I'm always with. Is. I yeah. don't get liar. Because when, when you go to your mama when you're done, you be like, "Oh, he telling a story." Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I ain't never lied. I just I, oh, I now know. that was a lie. <laughs> that was a that lie. Was I ain't say I ain't never told a lie. I say I ain't never lied. Meaning, um, majority of the time, I'm just blunt, honest. That T on the end of honest. <laughs> You made it sound like a lie. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Blunt so I'm blunt honest. <laughs> Whatever. I, said, Whoa, I, didn't, I didn't even expect the tea laugh. <laughs> and then it just popped right. up. <laughs> like the end of a drum, like the end of a drum riff. Yeah, uh, just like that. But uh, nah, growing up, is, you know, everybody got a different way. Man, what's, what's, the, what, what, what's the point of what you about to say? Fuck with me, so I'm losing the point. I mean, because because I don't want a long story, man. I was right. about to transition. Is that okay? Back to the, um, the movie. Anyway, the movie is the country motherfucker had a uh, brilliance to realize some shit. So here come the salesman. I got the electronic washing machine. Like, we got the refrigerator. We going to hook up wires all over here, and you're going to have free electricity. Oh, not free electricity. They're going to have electricity. and woo, woo. So all the stuff he was selling them was just like how we have commercials nowadays. So the salesman was running them. 
And the guy said, you mean to tell me you t- we going to have less chores and stuff to do around the house when we get to eat? not washed? He but said in just that voice, that, that exact same voice. That part. <laughs> we get Where was have- he from, Texas? It was one of them country places. No, no. I think you hear that the whole South? Okay, keep going. So he was like, you mean we going to have one of you all washing machines and refrigerators and it's going to do all our work for us, keep the stuff cold so we have less work to do. But we got to pay you for the electricity. We don't own none of the electronics. So it's like you know, we would stop working for ourselves, but we working for you. Now what the system has done with us now, they don't harness electricity, but we pay for it. Okay. They don't make water, but we make we pay for it. And you might as well say what all they fees with stuff that is for infrastructure pay for it but they don't do an adequate job fucked up on high shit yo i didn't listen i want to move i want to talk about it. now i got two things did you really not have an opinion on that real well, shit? man put it in short you be talking too long nigga i'm smoking weed do you think i want to sit here and listen to it that's why you high sometimes you i mean get i'm just saying high. that that's where that's where you lose people like you're on a, a show where niggas are smoking strong yeah, weed. We, we got smoke. weed in our cups right now yes, and, and you just have a long story and i tell you shorten the story up and I, it's halfway i start thinking about other stuff and I got to the point when I named the different shit within the actual. No, nah, shorten it up. It could be said in ten seconds. If <laughs> no, it can't. Yes, it can. But simple mathematics. What's the question? The question is: If you pay for all these so-called luxuries, but you don't own half of the shit, what is the now? Are we really having luxury when half of the shit we spend? Okay. What was you about to say? <laughs> <laughs> for real, you know you, you don't, don't pay. Know, you, you don't know how to no talk. No more green dragon for him. <laughs> no, this is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, simple mathematics. Do they make water? No, nature makes that. Do they make electricity? No, they harness electricity and food and all the simple shit that everybody so just has. Anybody that provides a service. The point I'm making is, it's too much things out here where half of the stuff we get charged to should be for free. But instead of we doing... Somebody has to harness it. The person who harnesses it. You can't can't get electricity by sticking your hand up. True enough, but why? If there was a kit that you could just get electricity for life. You can! If you can power your phone up. This nigga hit me up. He just hit me. Like, he's going to tell me where to get the equipment. No, I wouldn't. I was just oh, going to... Well, if that's not, where, if that's not the I'll, case, then how are you going to tell me that I can? Because if I can wireless char- uh, charge my phone up and other different electronic devices, why can't I have solar power or new wireless technology to power my house up? Radiation. Not radiation. Everything in radiation. I just, you asked the question, I gave it that. Everything is on a level of smart technology that works and don't work. What I mean that don't work, if it harms us, that means it's no bueno. Good. At a certain Tyler level. Got I, I think got I think radiation. I think what you're saying is You I, want free shit. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's, that's what he's saying. Pretty now. much. But, like, man, the shit all y'all niggas paying for, the I think that, that you get for free like the water and stuff that comes from nature, electricity that comes from nature as well. But those things are sold to us to make our lives better and more uh, is convenient. It make... Now, is it, now, can you go out and drink water from anywhere? No, you can't. You right, because they did that and... on purpose. They poisoned the natural water in most environments. You can get the water and you can filter it and get all the fucking, you right. know what I mean? And it'll but who be wants better. to do that? Yeah, it's Key the it's word. that nobody wants to but do But why? Because of... Why technology ain't making these things the norm? What are you talking what are you about? Ta- <laughs> what you mean when I'm talking about? Electricity, we can have all, whatever, depending on whatever you state. You know what happened back in the day when the river ran dry? He were the river ran dry. Unless you have reservoir. That's what is going mm-hmm. on. There's a lot of water reservoir. Yes. Oh, yes. They control the county and, and the state. Why don't the we? Government's have... controlling it. You still have to pay for it. 
You know what I mean? Somebody has to do that job. That's you want somebody to go to work and work for nothing. No. That's what you're saying. No. If you want it for free. It should be certain things that we do as a society that's natural part of our duty, and it should be certain things you do because that is your gift, business, or... I'm just saying, you're asking for a service. You want water from the... Look, in New York, their water comes from a... comes from like a stream or a river or something. Oh, my, 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 my cousin be like, oh, you can drink it from the fucking faucet. I, shit come from the mountains and shit. But they pay for water because that water has to be filtered and processed because you can't drink it straight from the river, right? From the mountain? If it's you from the mountain. You can't drink it straight from, no, what are, you, what are you talking about? There's still going to be bacteria and shit. If like, it's from said, a river stream. It falls through the air. Key word. At, at least 4,000 feet. Within cities, four thousand feet of, of falling through the air in America. The natural toxins is not in mountain water. Mountain water is electrified, what they call uh, alkaline. Okay, it's toxin in spring water. When you get close to the city, that's when it be toxin and no unsuitable for natural drinking. You filter it. Water comes out hot. Comes all no, day. all spring water does not come out hot because. I remember as, uh, not even going to a store. What is I don't spring? drink spring water. What is a spring? I know spring. What I had, water coming no, out no, of no, the no, ground. No, 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 Because spring water comes from a spring. A spring is water coming out of the ground at a spot. What you mean? What makes it come out? What you mean? Because it's in underground in the in, in Because it's what? In what makes it come out? Or a pressure or whatever. Pressure. What, what causes the pressure? Is you there... break it down since you asked the question. Heat. Okay, and what else? He causes it to gush out like that. That's what, what causes he? the pressure. So spring water is hot. Like I just said. No, it's not. Because I don't have cool sweet. That was refrigerated. No, from the spring. <laughs> no, that was in the refrigerator next to Solid Man's grave. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this nigga smoke, drink, and ride have. for free. Tell him to catch an Uber to GA. The game's oh, Georgia Me Spot. To Georgia Me Spot. <laughs> Bugs, birds, animals, shit in that water. <laughs> that must be the beat. What up. you mean means I don't motherfucking know. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Who pours in the water, Art? In the art, it's I don't know, but somebody called you art. Art, all right. Who poisoned the water? Art, you have different fashions. The reason why I'm saying different, different fashions, hold up, different what Groups. fashions? I'm saying fashions, meaning like different smoke. people with clothes. He meant and... Yes, yeah, I know what he meant. <laughs> he said fashion. <laughs> you talking about like Gucci and, and Louis, yo, 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 not that, but yeah, Levi's, but, but Calvin Klein. See, the world, Rebox. especially America, we love to look at one tunnel with it all. And then sometimes that motherfucker that motherfucker they could see did different shit. Is the... Are you trying to validate yourself right now? Yeah. I feel like you, the nigga that you ignore is that nigga that got all the answers. <laughs> I wouldn't, but I thank you. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna thank you. <laughs> but nah, but... It ain't. <laughs> I you see where I was going with this thing. <laughs> but it ain't no one group that's doing this. Shit. It's like the movie. Uh, I mean, not movie, but the old series they back in the day, Captain Planet. Wrong Captain. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It was giving you the clues. Even yeah. Captain Planet knew that fucking spring water comes out. You know, it don't. Oh, you don't got no science of how the spring water comes out in the first place, but you want to tell me. I just know I taste it cool spring water. That Straight from the spring. Straight from the spring. How would you do that? And would you stand sweet. underneath it as it was gushing out? And it wasn't gushing it out. Mouth? It was just coming out running as a small little pond. In. Oh, oh stagnant now. water. It wasn't even stagnant. If it's you said a pond. Out. A pond is stagnant. I call it a pond because I don't have no words for a short pool of water that, that was Still small, but it was all a lake. No, it was clear, fresh. Well, clear water doesn't mean 
Oh, it's clean. I Nigga, you need a fucking microscope. See, I can't trust you with nothing. <laughs> I, that's how I feel. I can't trust you with shit because you, you, hey, you don't understand. Did I say it was bacteria clean? And viruses yes, it was. And, uh-huh. and yes, par- yes, yes, no, you yes. don't. You don't because you sitting up here like, oh, it's clean. I see it. It, it was, was clean, but because of time and pollution, I bet you no had diarrhea. Clean. I know you. No, had I didn't. Oh, so you? Time went. No, when I revisit the place many years later, the okay. water wasn't clear. What's the place? It was in New Jersey. I don't believe it. I, this is probably a spring in He's a liar. I ain't a goddamn <laughs> liar, my old soul. He he is is a a liar. Most bacteria is not, not seen. seen. That's true. That's I ain't never said things don't have bacteria. Almost all bacteria but is unseen. But I know when I drank From from the, the spring eye. back then, uh, when I went to it, it was the sweetest water I ever taste. Okay. Every time. That's, that's, the, that's the bacteria was shitting in the water. Was pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> This spring was a hidden spring at that time. I bet you didn't go with no tour guide or nothing. Because <laughs> they probably would be like, no, sir, it's not hot right now. You want to wait till it's hot and it's killing the bacteria itself no, no, no. in the natural like, no, process. I that one distillation. Is I'm going to drink that water straight from the You're like, man, I'm going to drink it straight from the puddle, baby. <laughs> it's a spring. You can just do what you want to no, do. No, no. It was a Get spring. Get a cup. <laughs> and I don't drink spring water in different places, and it was cool water. I'm glad you are nobody's guardian. See me? I'm just being for real. I don't say many shit. people lie. Like, it hit the dirt, it hit the ground, baby, in this puddle, but it's up to God. Yeah, kiss it up to God. God. Yeah, touch the I God. didn't say a puddle. Yeah, roll off that dog puddle. shit, but if I you just pick spring. that part off, you be good. Like, what the That's fuck? a different species of dog uh, shit. Yeah. I said spring. Oh, the dog shit ain't even, ain't even wet no more, so you okay. Like. You say spring. I said, uh, I mean puddle. I said spring because it was coming up out of the ground. But you said it was a pond. I use that because I ain't know you. <laughs> he's, nah, he's sired. That is the craziest way to say that you have a child. What does sire mean? You told raise, me earlier. Yeah. Give life to. So is it raised or is it burnt? All that. So, is, give life to. Say, does it have to be all? No. Oh, so just one of them. Create. Sorry about a woman can, not birth crazy. I busted a nut. No, nigga. Oh, so you never sired no sire ain't busting a nut. When it come into the supernatural world, you that, gotta intermingle your spirits together, and then you'd be like Avatar with the tree. And uh, I never watched Avatar, but I feel like yeah, basically a tree your involved. energy. Transform this other one. Nigga, you no, obviously I don't have. That, that too, I believe. I was watching Jim, and they uh, net, actually did not touch each other. They never, whatever. They didn't touch. That's not sire. <laughs> but you say you ain't gotta touch each other. That's not that sire. That was the spiritual. They was in the world. Yeah, but that's not yeah, sire. Yeah, like the cone heads. That's right. more like um. Or, that's like your for like you know, like intellectual mingling or something like uh, on the sensual level. That's not sire. Um, spiritual world, piss me off, man. First like of all, it. when you say you sire something, that's something that becomes something Tell new. Tell me that about it. Sire, transform. Sire, male parent of an animal, especially a stallion. Like Respectful form of address for someone of high social status, especially. Cause the birth of her persons, especially a man, cause a cause a pregnancy, resulting. In, that's why right. you cause a pregnancy? Not nah, literally. So that's the only side that. What do a vampire matter. do? Do they, they get pregnant or do they transform from shit by forebear. blood? I mean, like, it depends on the vampire. Absolutely. He's a vampire. Absolutely. All of them don't have blood issues. Yeah, because some is energy. Aha. Uh-huh. Sires but, are animals' um, father. Is that what we call vampire fathers? Sires? Because they're animals? No. Vampires are animals because humans are the highest of everything. No, it's not. Even if we don't have powers. <laughs> 
But welcome to Human America, man. Right? <laughs> The prom my gun is my superpower. You high yet? <laughs> we, we on some high shit today. You we'll fuck with it. Look, there, there we no. go. Sorry, the male fuck without touching. Yeah, the Especially ma- a stallion or bull kept for breeding. Sire is one top thoroughbred stallion. Yeah, so he's a vampire sire. Ooh, that go hard. I think that might be a song. The vampire <laughs> sire. So how do make it a Is a stallion a male? I think that's a breed. Yes, that is a foreign prize horse. Let's see. Some Wait, people were saying that she was a man, but you know. No, she all woman, but she just chose that name. An uncastrated adult male horse. Mm-mm-mm. And there's only one definition. Wow. What is a female stallion called? The gender of a stallion in the feminine is a bear. Right. Hmm. Why isn't it? So Megan why the do Meg- <laughs> That shit would have been kind of hard, though. Megan the mayor? I think it's for, uh, No. Uh, it's, on it's on the thoroughbred side. Yes. And here's my Forrest Gump moment. Before <laughs> far- <It's> narcissistic. <laughs> <laughs> Megan the narcissist. Yeah, I, I didn't play. <laughs> Before I, before she blew up, when she was on her way in, at, at the door, I was doing so, security at the He, he wrote her, her first song. song. Come on. <laughs> and, come on, that's that. And I would say Megan Thee Stallion had them hands. I don't remember the chick that tried her, but she... Hood she, African said, it's slang, Ark. You should have spelled it with a T. Black people been saying thick women are stallions. For years. Yeah, you should have said for years after that. But you know, Not yeah. women. Stop playing. Yeah, that... we do call women stallions. Yeah. No. I ain't never heard a woman call a man a stallion. That... Call when we stud. call women stallions, we... it's because of their legs and oh, that ass. Studs. When, we when start legs, saying stallions when your leg, on man, years I was ago. Like, Yo, man, this baby's a fucking stallion. We look, 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 look. stallions look, 20 The way she ago. moved was like a brown we stallion horse stallion with skates women. on, you know? We ain't said stallion twenty eight. Where that come from? The way yeah. she moved was like a brown stallion horse with skates on, you know, smooth as a hot comb on nappy ass hair. I walked up on her and was paralyzed. Her neck was smelling sweeter than a plate of yams with extra syrup. Eyes beaming like four carrots a piece, straight blotted nigga. Felt like I cheaped the whole oh that presidential. My heart was beating so damn fast. Who was that? Go ahead, nigga. God damn, do I gotta spit the whole shit? Mm-hmm. Never know in this moment. We'll bring Nigga, another life. Say it with you. Oh my gosh. How art don't know. He spelled it with a T this time. <laughs> How art don't know. He want me to say the whole shit. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> Look, we should call Big Room. We should call Big Room. Like, this nigga ain't hang with y'all back in the day, obviously. Right. Anyway, damn. You said we ain't been staying tired for how long? That was just a That was in the 90s. 90s. This nigga slow. <laughs> anyway, Shout out to Hood African. <laughs> I said to, uh, that's why I said I'm black for us gone. I met her years ago. When your homies see this clip, they're going to be like, what the fuck is going Megan on? Megan the Stane got them hands because she was, um, let's just say, allegedly she was putting foot to boot to a bitch ass in an open mic spot. And I was security that night. So when I pulled off the bitch, we were on the side powwow, calming her down. So she was like, yeah, I'm making the stallion woo the woo This nigga is so, <laughs> a compulsive lie. No, that's the truth. <laughs> so I asked her. I, I told her. I said, oh, you know, and I was oh, like, sir. you know, I'm a, uh, stallion is a male horse, you know, and normally it's a foreign horse. I wrote a song about your ass. That made me want to go listen to an album. So, Where you say that? You know, this, this was not right before she blew up, like a couple years. You talked to everybody. So, so when I said that, what she, club? All right, I crossed the path there. They and said, said what club? club? If it's a few, you can name one. It used one of them used to be Club Ocean. Where was that club at? Off of Bankhead. Oh, so Megan Thee Stallion was. Yeah. Right before. Traveling through. Uh, and Johnny K. 
Johnny Cash. Who the fuck is that? That is a female artist. She on the show. Uh, Johnny Hip-Hop Blaze. Atlanta. What is that? Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Johnny sure. Blaze. No, Johnny Cash. Man, this nigga be throwing me all the way the fuck off. But yeah, Magnus Stallion. She she was fine then. One hundred percent, one love. But I give her props. She had them hands. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot yeah, what the broad did. I forgot what Ocean she... was not a real club. <laughs> anyway. And, and Hood Advocate said Megan was never at Ocean. Yes, she was. But anyway, I forgot what the broad did. A liar. But liar, liar. But Megan had... Club was closed down a few years ago. Anyway. I was there. Security. Hey, the audience disagrees. And... She had put foot the boot to somebody. Yeah. But you know, he says... Right on. Chicago. Chicago. Was like, mm-hmm. I was like, that what he was called? Hey, yo, God, so well. I knew he was going to say, so I was just waiting on it. I was just waiting on it. I was just waiting on it. That nigga last said, yeah, y'all call him Prince, but you know, I know the nigga, man. I, is that Nelson right there? You still wearing your mama's shoes, huh? <laughs> Oh, you made the other right. day. Oh. How, how Miss Rogers doing? Like, oh. Come out. Just like that. Yo. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't believe shit that you You ain't got to believe, nigga. I'm like, I'm like that old soul that done been in a lot of places. Art was time. macking and cheesing on a chick in the car. Okay. So, yeah, just tell us that story. I wasn't going. You know what? I, I chose to say silent, you feel me? Because this nigga was acting... Very professional. You okay. feel me? She, I couldn't hear her, but you feel me? She was inside. She calling this a couple times. Wow. Like back to back to back. They okay. sitting like a video to each other and okay, shit. You know, okay. A little light bright type red bone type okay. thing. Thing like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? That's why he dressed up. That's why he dressed up. He said, oh yeah, baby, you got a video call today. I got to uh, where, where she live at? Anyway, I was he said she's a, she no, Haitian. Said it was a stud. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it ain't a stud. No, I I got a friend that's in Miami. You know what I'm saying? I was conversing with on the way here. I can't just say talking to. Because it. it's more interesting. I, I talking. See how he tried to lower his voice like this is a fucking radio jazz <laughs> yeah, station yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> jazz turkey. It was. <laughs> It this was, is Archangel on right. the number one <laughs> jazz station. Right, right. And I was, I was, you know, I was macking on this little honey, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> on the we, way over to the station, you feel me? Uh, yeah, compliments on the company. Three, you know? <laughs> but no, what I was thinking is that even through when we was talking about women being narcissistic, women who smoke weed are sometimes the best. Sometimes it's just weed. Just weed? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's just weed. Because, I mean, what is a first day but me talking to you, getting to know you? Right. Man. I, I seen a lady on the thing today was talking to her uh, son about a uh, first day, said, what to do? Like, my mama always told me. You Somebody never said, Ark, it's so, it's so extra. Classy, but classy. Yeah. <laughs> say, you are so extra. Yeah. Who was that? Who was that? Shout out to them. Sassy but classy. Dressed Two, up. Six eight eight. That What's nigga going on? Dressed like an oil and incense man. <laughs> oil and incense self. You know. That's what I do. Oh shit. You know that's Vonda. That's Vonda. Oh, that's mean? sis. Think. Vonda. Oh, that's sis. Oh, girl. What's up, K-Lady? Let's go. Um, it's Raw Baby Mama. Mm-hmm. All right, now check this out. <laughs> she says father, nigga. You know who it is? And what did she say? That's why I say that's it. All right, now check this out. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. First dates with chicks to smoke weed. Going to McDonald's half the time. Ah, ah, 
You know what I'm saying? She ain't supposed to leave the house home. Mm-hmm. She's supposed to be full with shit, just in case a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So she don't go. First of all, you know what I'm saying? That's something I would tell my daughter because you don't want to be a hungry motherfucker at the whim of somebody else. Right. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I mean, mm-hmm. sitting up here hungry as a motherfucker waiting for it. Hey, this nigga might be like, man, let me stop by and goddamn <laughs> kick it for 15 minutes at my right. mama's house. You know what I'm saying? That's some crazy shit. Uh, you sitting up here hungry as a motherfucker getting the attitude and shit. You ain't eating. Right. Mm-hmm. Supposed to go there for a drink and maybe some snacks or some shit like that. Yeah, I just had that written down in my notes. Mm-hmm. So, I'll try to transition off of you. I uh, What about uh cool yeah, motherfucker y'all yeah, high yeah. together? And whether you at her spot, y'all spot, both of y'all I just in the kitchen, hide in the mother throwing all types of shit. That's a, that's another thing. People who smoke weed are best cooks. Out training. Man, I made some fucking spiders. I'll be right back. I hear somebody. No fucking green dragon for me. Yeah, this nigga got to stop smoking that. <laughs> he got to leave that fucking dope alone, nigga. That's what got to happen. <laughs> I got two of K-Lady say not all the time. Now that K-Lady is on, I got, I, got some, I got some other shit to talk about that we can get canceled off of. Y'all want to do that? <laughs> Vida say y'all cooking niggas sassy as fuck. <laughs> That's crazy, Vida. That's crazy. Because honestly, like, if you can't cook for yourself, then you're at the whim of whatever woman you get with. Especially if she can't cook. I mean, I mean that's the sad thing. Uh-huh. I'm saying I'm the type of nigga cook for myself and be like, yo, you're gonna have to learn something. Just uh-huh. sit here and learn how I do this so that you can do it. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You gotta cook. You're like, you know what I'm saying? My mama taught me how to cook. And you know, even when you at I don't know what the fuck B dot talking about. I don't know, because I ain't no B dot way, way back. But like in Meadowood or fucking Village Stone Mountain, when you come to the crib, man, you cook for all the homies, man. You feel me? You fix pancakes. We pancake guy. Nigga say he got money. Man, I got money. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna say you got money on on on, on live and then put a shush sound like shh? <laughs> right. Man, I'm just saying, when niggas come over to your crib, man, you cook for all the homies. You know what I'm saying? You no. Know, Hell I don't no. know what y'all talking about. Hell no. Hell no. no now, no, we no. cook for the girls that come over. Oh, I am no. not cooking for no bunch of fucking hard legs. Fuck that. Hell no. No, nah, when I was a kid. Nah. All the nah because, cook, nigga, nah, I'm coming nah. over your house tomorrow. Well, we come over. Yeah. If we come over, we cooking our own shit, but the the homie ain't cooking for nah, all the nah, us. No, nah, you can't come in my fucking parents' kitchen and start doing We did it all the time. In my, in my, I go my on my friend's house and... Make hot dogs like he was. His mom was the first person to have a microwave. We throw hot dogs in the microwave. Shit, but making, he ain't is, cooking us shit. Niggas is making specialty shit, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? That's what I say. I don't know, man. I don't know. Nah, no, I agree. Oh, with you you I mean, I said that's what sassy activity. That ain't no fucking sassy <laughs> activity, man. Because I cook. I agree with B out on that. Hold on, now, I if I'm making pancakes, nigga, you ain't about to go in and make your own pancakes. Nah, now, nobody you know came in my house. I'm making pancakes. Like my like Rob might be in there making pancakes for me and him. Right, and then fucking fourth come. But it's only a certain, only certain niggas gonna get pancakes. Yeah, you gonna make some in the first place. Some popcorn for niggas. That sounds sassy too. Would y'all gonna watch a movie together? Nah, on the nah. Couch? I ain't eating no popcorn, <laughs> nigga. Now nah, that's some sassy shit, nigga. Nah, what my the fuck nigga, is y'all eating popcorn, popcorn for? You know what I'm saying, nah. nigga, twelve years old. The only thing we know what to do with so some oh, fucking pancakes. Especially at twelve years old, I'm not cooking for. Nah, I ain't talking about 12. I ain't talking about Chef Boyardee and flipping nah, I'm talking about nah, high school. If we, Put go, the nah, fucking, if we go over to the house and you eat, and I'll be like, man, what you got to eat? Oh, he, no. He's going to be like, hey. <clears throat> oh, no, you got to catch me while I'm cooking. No, nah, we not cooking. That's yeah. not like that. No, nah, 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 high school, elementary. Man, that's like, how I go, like man. What homies. kind of homies you had, man? That's uh, fucked homies up, Homies that man. wasn't real sassy. Like, we nah, all that just... ain't no sassy <laughs> shit. Nah, see, my daddy was my daddy and chef. So, me growing up, I had skills. Why even yeah, everybody skills. thought they had skills. No, That's the I whole had point skills. of why everybody so, was I fucking cooking. I put cheese on. I was like, skills. No, <laughs> no. I ain't that shit sound nasty as fuck. I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have ate that, that shit. This is when Mike Ways first came out. I'm older than you. Remember this. 
Okay, so you was like, man, this is the best this shit the best ever. Shit ever. <laughs> Fuck an oven, nigga. It's boiling out this water. Hey, you know it's some new shit when you when you stand there looking at that shit cook like this is amazing. <laughs> 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 like you watching TV. He said, he this is got crazy. a microwave. <laughs> Give me a hot dog real quick. I Bring all that shit out the freezer. <laughs> Can I put a steak in here? <laughs> oh shit. Uh, nah. I did that shit when I figured out to microwave an egg without exploding. Egg without it exploding. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is so crazy, man. Sassy, but classy say you can cook with, especially lamb. Who's sassy but classy? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> your mind is fast. No more hey, green dragon for you. I'm high. I ain't even finished my cup. Look at this nigga shit is empty. That's why he told I would pour, I would tilt I it over, but it got like a little, had, it got man. one little drop, but it's empty. Like I had half of what you. I had. gave him. No, you did. I gave yes, him I way did. more green I dragon. Than I, I, I watched the cups when no. you toasted. He had more than me. Real talk, all jokes aside. I promise to God, I did. Yes, you did. Your cup was up here. My cup. was You see up how here. he's talking differently now, right? <laughs> I, I'm live. I'm live. See, I, that see, one. that's the that's the extra green dragon I put in there. Ain't no extra. You, you say live. Yeah, I'm live. Yeah. This yeah. cup was up here with it. I want everybody to take note. Do not, do not yeah. uptake this trend that uh, Ark is trying yes, to start. Yes, it is. Live series. I'm live. We asked series. him, "What about dead wrong? Is that live wrong?" Are you and he was like, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> "I said that shit don't roll off the tongue as easily." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, hold on, ain't what we got coming up? What you mean? Thanks, killing. We about to get Thanks together. Thanks, killer. Okay, okay lady, say where your head at, Art. Damn. Yeah. Bitch, your mind better not keep a dime. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> All right. Um, this is kind of weird, man, but you know what really kind of fucks with me? And it's none of my fucking business. Um, that's even worse dun, dun, dun. I'm just saying it's no none of my fucking thing. business until a motherfucker shows up at the school board mm-hmm. I got, like I said I got a daughter so mm-hmm. when I start seeing shit you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. it's this pressure to, to you know what I'm saying acceptance can only go so shit. fucking far cause I've been eyeing this candy you know go saying? ahead go ahead homie you know what I'm saying thing right here go ahead you know you know nigga business you know this is what you call real service man why is he talking man I That's just want to give a shout out to D, uh, DJ Last. He got, he be having a little stuff for folks. This, how, this how we know the Green Dragon. This is how we know he had way more Green Dragon. Right. right. No, 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 no. Yeah. I'll just make just it. started talking to the candy bowl. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Ooh, this is, little candy. Like, like, I'm like, about to eat you, little candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like this is the first day that you ever put candy out loud. You're like, oh shit, Lab got candy tonight. Right, like the first, like it's been out ever since. You feel me? You've been here for how many years, brother? I ain't shot it up. I'm just saying, man. You gotta, you be making me. Like, I be losing my shit. I'll just be like, man. I'm looking at Lab like, should I cross this line? Yeah, cross this line. <laughs> All right, man, the parents of transgender people mm-hmm. especially under age okay and i'm talking 16 and below. okay you know what i'm saying i have some kind of feeling to i mean because at the end of the day you can let it your kid can be a fucking you can let your kid do whatever the fuck they want to do as long as it ain't hurting no other kids right you know what i'm saying but i'm just saying man Listen, there's a fucking line that has to be crossed. Because at the end of the day, these are fucking kids. My daughter doesn't want to do homework. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know how long it took me to get her right. Do homework. Man, yesterday I gave her three assignments. Usually it'll take her all day to do one because she's got the stubbornness about her. Like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real. And not. she'll sit at a table all day. Right. And just do nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And yesterday I gave her some assignments. I went to the store. I came back. I came in there like, yeah, man, you better finish all your assignments. She's like, oh, I'm already done. I said, you're a little. 
And I went through that. I said, man, I said, I see that. I wanted to start cursing. I wanted, right. to be, I wanted to be like, now see, this is some fucking bullshit <laughs> that you've been putting us through, acting like you can't fuck. I don't know. I got confused. I, don't know. I was telling my, I was telling my wife. I was like, man, ain't no such thing as got confused. Because right. if you get confused, you be like, look, I don't understand this. Can you help me? Right. Like you sit there all day, and then after we, why it take so long? Well, I got confused. Like, hey, yo, <laughs> man, I'm telling you, man, I forgot why I got on to that. But you know, I had to. Art made that hat out of cardboard and instant stick wood. <laughs> My son too. Oh yeah, thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, yeah, be that. You just gotta be diligent with it. You feel me? So that's why that's why I feel some kind of way about transgender kids, parents. Mm-hmm. It's like, what the fuck is going on in your fucking house, nigga? Like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying that, you feel I me? Mean, you can be whatever the fuck you want to be. But right. I just want to know, what is the fucking environment like? Right. Don't tell me that, that you feel I me? Mean, like, it's just, the, I mean, I just want to know. You know what I'm saying? Because to me, kids, are, every child is technically a parent's experiment. Okay. Okay. The first one is. The first one, definitely. The mm-hmm. second one, definitely, because you like, man, I might have fucked up some areas right here. I'm going to do... Third one, they be like, look, man, cruise control. <laughs> hey, man, help your brother do this. You know what I'm saying? But the second one and the first ones, definitely. It's the parent's experiment. That's how That's how I feel. God damn. It's a whole bunch of ashes. Got it back. Um, so, with that being Art said, ended. I had question the parents of transgender kids because like I said every kid is just their parents experiment see Mm -hmm. if they can grow their plants better than the next motherfucker did you know what I'm saying I'm gonna grow my it's like it's like a plant growing up and being and being like you know what I'm gonna do better than plant for me did which is kind of how fucking plants work you know what I'm saying tester kids yeah tester kids they, they be, all kids are testers. I mean, just think about it. You, especially if you have control of it, you want to control what they eat. I mean, some ki- some parents don't give a fuck. What about you know people who live through? This but kids? some some people want to control what they eat, everything that goes into what they learn, mm-hmm. what what they do. Some some parents like every second of the day is control. Like you know, what I'm saying when you mm-hmm. gonna get a 15 minute nap, when you gonna get some 15 minute lunch break, <laughs> you know, back to fucking piano. Fucking mad. That's true. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Until it's time to go to fucking mm-hmm. sleep. Right. You got 30 minutes of family time. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? I get it. That is, but some people don't go as hard. But everybody has their thing. I bring up again, you what, what about the parents who live through this? You should control what they eat. Okay, so uh, so there's, uh, there's something that you, can, you should control what they eat. Mm-hmm. Is that what 100%. they eat mentally? No, definitely spiritually. Spiritually? Definitely physically. I mean, but sometimes you can't control what they eat if they don't want to eat the stuff that you want them to eat. You got to give them a... Only, I only had one, so that shit was trying shit to see if it works. Yeah, you mm-hmm. throw shit at the wall and see if it works. But what are you throwing at the wall? Is what I be... You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not throwing no shots, but I'm questioning. Mm-hmm. What is going on in your house? I just want to know. Because every child is a spirit. So, because people would really try to bash a nigga for asking this question. Think about it like this. If your kid walks in and starts speaking four fucking languages and my kid is 8 2 and they go to the same and they go to the same school. I'm going to be like, "What the fuck is going on in your house?" Right. <laughs> speaking 8. Yeah. Language. Yeah. Shit, I'm like, "Cool. That means you can tell every last bill collector or somebody owe me money." On the other side, I'm not saying shit. that and and I'm not saying the transgender spectrum is on either side. I'm just saying, on the other side, your kid might have murdered a couple of dogs in the neighborhood. Right, right, right. right. What the fuck is going on in your house? Mm-hmm. So I can avoid that fucking shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I mean, a parent, they say it takes a village to raise a child, but it really takes a village to raise each child individually because as the village communicates with each other, as a parent, mm-hmm. I should be able to go to other parents, ask them questions about how they do and shit, some what's some going on, right. so I can structure my shit accordingly I agree with uh, that. to my experiment. I agree with that. Because that's all that. raising the child is and is a, it's a fucking experiment. That you're going to be like, look, I'm trying to make my beanstalk grow better than the next nigga like he was in 
kindergarten. Well, see, that's how it used to be in the world in certain communities that. But after said, quiet art. If he don't stop that bull. Let me ask a question, though. So, do we ask that same question of parents who children can't read or can't write or know how to do mathematics? Well, you kind of really know what's going on. (laughs) A lot of fucking nothing. Just to ask because, okay, let's do it this way. One child can't read, write, do anything. The other child is free. Under the same house? Under the same house. Why isn't that child helping the other child? <laughs> okay, so you One child must have a learning... What's going system. on? I mean, yeah. I, but I won't have to ask what's going on. I mean, that's just like common fucking sense. What the fuck is... I, I, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I would be like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, why is this nigga a genius and he's such a... Like, I mean, I would just assume... Uh, being respectful and trying not to be in anybody's business, right. I would just assume he was... You know what I'm saying? What's the <laughs> word? But he's not. He's not challenged. He's just mentally challenged. He's not challenged. Mm. That shit will run me crazy. I get that two dads raise kids, but are y'all doing PDA in front of kids? Yeah, like, is I mean, but, yeah, that's kind of, because, you feel me? Even in front of my kids, like, you can't do, you can't kiss and shit in front of kids. Not because you're gay, but because you don't want them to be fucking fast and go to school and be like, hey, they kiss, let's kiss. Right. You don't want your fucking four-year-old, your three-year-old, your five-year-old kiss another kids. That's how COVID spreads. You feel me? It's just being for real. Does it make the kid gay well, if they had to? Hope hopefully won't get blocked on that one. <laughs> no. no. You can say everything else on that but- I can't, but see, that's a question, Slick, that I don't know the answer to particularly. I would say no, but that's probably something that I've seen off of a movie where a nigga had two dads, but he's getting pussy and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I I, I don't think I've ever seen that in real life. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I I would ask, like, if if you got two dads, you feel me? Especially if you straight, I'd be like, what's that fucking like, nigga? Like, yeah, that would me? be interesting. And how did you come out liking pussy? Right. Did they tell you to like pussy, or you know what I'm saying? I would expect them to be like, "Yo, I ain't never seen these niggas this in my life." Right. Like, whoa, okay, damn. Yeah. So they wanted to give you a fighting chance, like, man, nah, let, let him, if you want pussy, let them get some pussy. Man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I could respect that. You know what I'm saying? Because my wife be like, man, well, we can't kiss in front of these motherfuckers because my daughter be up there like, ooh. <laughs> I be like, god damn, this nigga can't goddamn give a nigga a moment of peace. I had the door locked this morning. My son was at the door like, who wants the door locked? <laughs> he only three. <laughs> That's not funny. Ba- I'm talking about he banging on the door. I'm like, man, get the fuck out. I, 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 I ain't cursed. Right. Like, yo, get away from the door. And I can't, yo. I'm like, get away from the door. <laughs> Junior. Go on, Junior. What if one dad was a stepdad? All part of the experiment, man. That, that's when you see if one daddy is better than the other one. Mm. It's it's like this. You can't help who your parents is. And in mean, today's yeah, society, it yeah. is unique situation across the board. My opinion is, if you're a parent, whether you physically a parent by your blood, whether you adopt, put compassion. I feel like there's a difference. It is, but it ain't. Because sometimes. There's a difference because when you look at your own genetics, when I see my daughter, I'm only I see my grandmother. Parent. You know what I'm saying? I be telling her that. I, like, I, I said it on this podcast. Sometimes when she was little, she used to say shit that my grandmama would say, and then mm-hmm. she got that fucking weird pronunciation shit like my grandmama used to have mm. and I was like grandma is that you you know what I'm saying she's like I'm not your grandma I'm like that sounds like a lie I don't know mm. you know what I'm saying so I don't be wanting to do nothing to her like you know what I'm saying hey, what you talking about not showing is I just as bad it's just as bad as kissing I mean, I think it should be. What is PDA? Family picnic, family picnic hot, hot as hot as cut and dry as it was in our day. I know. It's, I so think it should be. Say that, let, let our I, I think it should be a balance in the intimacy you show in front of a child because if they don't see compassion and stillness, they ain't gonna see an example. 
because then they'll be industrial when they get in their re- a relationship. So, so you're saying that whatever the couple is, woman, woman, man, woman, man, man, PDA is. It, be, it should be some type of balance of showing the child or caring for your other. Is Whatever they call for it. The I mean, name yeah, in order to show what a relationship is. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't know. If you don't show the uh, your, your child you're raising some type of example, not just for the child and compassion, but the person that you're calling their other parent, then what they gonna see as a sample. <laughs> you get that right there, all right? PDA is public displays of affection. You know. Thank you, or African. <laughs> but, but yeah, real talk. Um, but yeah, that's why I question. Children need examples. Uh, in multiple levels, but we can't hide it. Oh shit! Welcome. You know it. Okay. If we was messy, we would call your we'll call your phone number out. Hold on. Hello. You high yet podcast? What up? Hi, this is Kay. Hey. So I want to say, Art, right, you finally said something that made some goddamn sense. Come on. So, um. I was agreeing with Art, and that's what I was trying to say in the text message because I'm um, I'm driving and listening to the show. Um, when I said doesn't isn't not showing PDA just as bad in front of basically in front of the kids, and basically Art was saying this, what I was trying to say. If you're not showing a balance um, of PDA in front of kids, then when they get older then they won't know what is acceptable and not acceptable. And that's kind of what's happening now, I think, in relationships. And that's why people are so kind of messed up nowadays because, like, like you're married. I don't know what art got going on, but people nowadays, when you're talking to them, they don't understand the level of intimacy um, when it comes to that, like PDA, um, or showing some type of affection because they didn't see it growing up and they were like, my parents never hugged or they never kissed in front of me. So they don't believe in doing things like that. And yeah. it's, it's kind of jaded how it is nowadays. And people think it's only supposed to be done behind closed doors. But, like, when I was growing up, my mom and dad hugged in front of me and kissed in front of me. Like, they, they like, hung each other down and shit like that. But they showed affection in front of me when they were, when I was growing up. So I understood the level of some type of affection for a partner. Did your daddy, smack, a, did your daddy smack your mama on the ass? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'll suck it. So with that, did they hug you and your sibling? Yeah, they hugged me too. Okay. What the fuck that got to do? Because I'm I'm on the opposite. My parents are some type of affection with each other. It was, but it wasn't hugging people. Oh, my brother, he went back to being confused. No, I'm not. You got some parents. No, no, no stop, hugged. stop. Thank you, K Lady, for calling thank in. Thank you, thank you. Okay, bye, 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 bye. Oh, you smoke that good shit. You heard it? She's like, <clears throat> okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that nigga said to roast that nigga. He's a planetarian. A plantarian? Planetarian. Oh, planetarian. What up? I like that. I like that. I was that sipping. nigga. That nigga. I think it was supposed to be spelled with an e. Uh, but when your parents do whore shit in front of you <laughs> growing up, will that make you a whore? Hmm. Mm. It could make you a pimp. Or a madam. I don't know. Or just somebody that doesn't want to be around whores. Hood Africa said to give you a hug. I'm going to deny your request. (laughs) You can hug them when you see them. Right. Right. I mean, but would you think whore parents would be something that people wouldn't be outraged at also? But if you're a whore, you have your rights to raise your child. 
within Is reason. Is it levels of law. boredom? Uh, is it levels of boredom? Yeah, we gotta freestyle. Absolutely. Okay, so no, we ain't gonna freestyle. Okay, no freestyle oh, <laughs> kiss my ass, mother. Oh, Perfect. come on, come on, man. We'll freestyle, do a let's draw freestyle. We only doing one. I'm doing two Oh, no, no, no freestyle. No freestyle. No freestyle. Yeah, yeah. come on, man. Stop playing. We ain't doing last 830, week. 8.30, man. One freestyle. Man, one. we thank everybody for watching, man. We'll be Stop back hating, next week. Man. Come on, one freestyle. One. Come Make on. sure y'all go catch Ride Touche every weekend. Throw one on, 12, man. Yeah, no more freestyles to Rock come back. Saturday or Sunday. Oh, we, no more freestyles to Rock come back. No, we, we ain't. Come say, on, let man. Pull well, one on. Stop right, playing, we'll man. do one freestyle. I'll do a warm freestyle. <laughs> Bastard, you realize who I am? I'm gonna break your bones in a little bit. <laughs> different hats they wear but somebody don't realize it's about the shoes you walk you don't walk in mine i don't walk in yours but long as you live your life and go on tour to your destiny some people are scared to live the best within thee look inside the mirror and recognize the god and goddesses but the cats don't even see that some of you are immortal and some of you is bottom and levels of trash because you be sued nothing but be empty shadow beings but some of us raise above the fifth dimension but some of you thinking you hard, but only thing is hard is dead or behind bars. But are you being nothing but the next level of copying your idol? Or are you gonna be the true artist within? But so many cats is caught up in religion and refuse to wake up out of your silly superstition. I'm a portal. I'm a mock you niggas. I mean, I'm a smack you niggas. Yeah, don't get around. Weird. <laughs> Hold up. I'm a portal. Motherfucking immortal, coming after you motherfuckers. A couple of arms like a nigga named Gordo. Goro. Goro. Dancing on the beat like Eddie Gordo. Uh. You know how a nigga do it. I can focus like I'm riding in the Ford Ho. Got the smoke and it's all up in my ears and my motherfucking brain. That's why I can't even hear you. It's motherfucking loudness. Flowing on the cloud, bitch. You know how I do it. I can assassinate a motherfucker right in front of you. You wouldn't know that it was me, though. What? Eat you like a Frito. Huh. Yeah, cheesy like Doritos, how I like my fucking pockets When I come after you niggas, I'm smoking these rockets I could be a fucking astronaut Take off inside of the next level Cats is going to the stratosphere But cats is thinking they hard Cause they got it for guns But just because you made yours Don't mean they ain't made mines But sometimes we come in silence Cause we don't gotta prove and your levels And my circle is hard. hard to hate When we smoking peanut butter and marmalade huh. It's real good but some got a many goodness to it, nigga. <laughs> Let me say this shit. <laughs> See, life, sometimes people like that bacon, but true soldiers like whatever's giving them life. When the by any means necessary, I understand sometimes the world's getting real scary. But sometimes you gotta raise up and put on your big boots on and go inside of the waves and getting on. Yeah, Man. we do this. Got me stoned like Medusa. Mm. I hate listening to art cause every time this nigga spit this shit so fucking confusing. Started calling this nigga Confucius. But call me no, don't spit time. no more shit. Let's go. High five. High five. Let's go. You high Let's yet? Oh. And we out, nigga. <laughs> Stay tuned next week. Lord of mercy. So, so. Hey, where's your mama at? I don't know. Daddy, where's your mama go? Where's daddy? Where's your mama at? Get the bag, yeah. I get the money and go. Uh. The money and bounce for the money, I'm going all in. Once I get the money, I'm out. I get the money, nigga. I get the money. I get the money. I get it. I get it. I get the money, nigga. I get the money. I get the money. I get the money and sit. Cause money's my ride in this bitch. Flexing your money on me. Gonna make you get robbed in this bitch. When I get the money, it's toasty. Gotta eat a lot of money on me. I get the money, nigga. I get the money. Where the fuck is the money, nigga? I get the money.
like it was a bad bitch. Money don't care that I ain't had shit. Money looking at it, got my back. Money's everything. Fuck the rest. I left the strap if I have to, boy. Really a nigga don't have a choice. Money, money is my bread and butter. And I kill a man and try to take it from me. Mozzarella drip the sweetest sauce. Don't come in and that's a piece of her. Bands will make her think she need to fuck me. I like cash and why she eat the custard. Money make her wanna know the name. But I don't wanna know you cause you lame. Money make them try to bring you down. So money's the best thing to keep around. The devil, the never will. Money concerto, my money on my mind like it's my sombrero. Money, money, only two things that we're on. Swooping in for the save like a hero. You get the money and spend it. I keep it mine till they fucking end me. Chasing the money, I'm racing with money. I'm hungry, got a fucking taste for the money. What I think of the money, right? I get the money and go. Uh, I get the money and bounce. For the money, y'all going all in. Once I get the money, I'm out. I get the money, then I get the money. I get the money. I get it, I get it. I get the money, then I get the money. I get the money. Cause money's my ride in this bitch Flexing your money on me Gon' make you get robbed in this bitch When I get the money, it's toasty Gotta eat a lot of money on me I 